you doing, Mr. Bergman? Hey, I'm working on my calculations. I see that. Yeah, I got my, my calculator here. Yeah. yeah. What's what? What? Hey, here I got an answer, Mr. Pretty Sanders. frantic, okay. It says uh, 5.3E, uh, no, pardon me. It says 5.37607.31E17. Okay. So I'm going to write that down here You're on write my screen. 5.073E17 negative, uh, right? That's a lot of numbers you're writing down. Well, well, what's wrong with that? That's what the calculator says. Yeah, yeah but just because it's on your calculator doesn't mean it's the answer you record. What do you mean? The calculator says that's the answer. I, I know it does, but remember, the calculator is your tool, tool to help you do the work that you need to know that needs to be done. Okay, it's not a crutch, it's a tool. Okay. Okay, right. now, when we make measurements, we're limited by the oh, accuracy by of our least accurate device. Yeah, not so by calculator. Not by your calculator. Yeah. That's right. not the least accurate so device. Guys, the key here on this podcast is that we're going to be doing calculations mm -hmm. with our calculators, but our calculator is going to give us the wrong answer. Right. So we're going to have to know how to round it to the appropriate number of significant figures. Correct. And as we do that, we will be able to write down the correct answer. So guys, like I just said, we're going to be doing calculations involving significant figures. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Yeah. Hey, and uh, we're going to use our calculators. Hey, we are. so that probably, what should you probably have out? Probably get your calculator. Hit, Hit pause, pause. Go get your calculator. All right. So let's do that. Okay. So we're just going to like do a lot of problems here. Today. Yeah. Actually, um, so what do you do when you have to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Well, there's some rules you got to follow. There are, and they're different. They're not the same. So we have two oh. different sets of rules, yeah. multiplication, division, and addition, subtraction. So guys, what you need to do is push pause on your video and write this down. Write this down. All right. Um, for multiplication and division, round to the nearest to the lowest number of significant figures, and addition subtracted round to the least accurate place value. Decimal. Uh, yeah, decimals. So what you want to do is make sure you've write, written these down, and we'll do some examples. Okay, these are the key um, rules that we're going to use to solve these problems. So now let's just do some problems. All right, so let's say I have 5.023, and I'm going to add to that 0 0.1564. Uh, okay. So Mr. Sams, you're going to do that on the 5. calculator. 5.023 plus 0 0.1564. Four. All right. What's the calculator say? Calculator Mr. answer says 5.1794. And that, of course, is wrong. Correct. The calculator's wrong? The calculator's wrong. I cannot believe it. The calculator's wrong. Yes, we have rules for rounding when we add significant digits. So let's go back and look at that rule for a second. What was that rule? The when rule was... Add or subtract, we round to the least accurate place value, or the least number of decimal places. So the least number of decimal places is, this is three right the here. first number, which has three technically, decimal places. This is the tenths place, yep. the hundredths place, and the thousandths place, and then this is the ten thousandths place. The problem right. is, is this first one was measured with a poor measuring device, or a poorer, that's not poorer. bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, <laughs> and when I measure, I, did, I don't know what this number is. This right. number is a mystery to me. I don't know what it is. It right. could be a two, a three, who knows? Right, so since that number is a mystery to us, our final answer cannot have any certainty of that the last place. place. So we're going to round this number to this place right here. Now right. this number right here is a four. That number is somewhat significant in the sense that it helps us round. A four does not round the answer, so the real answer is 5.179. Right, we need three decimal places in our answer because the one with the least had three. That is three. correct. All right, let's do another one. All right. Let's say... Clear my calculator. Okay, clear the calculator. Good call. Let's do kind of a weird one, Mr. Sams. What okay. if I say 500 plus 78? Okay. All right. 500 Do you really need a calculator for this, Mr. Sams? Well, I'm just doing what our students are going to do. All right. <laughs> They're going to put that in their calculator. You My book, like just do it I right. don't think I even need to look at your calculator. No. I think it's 578. All right. And that, of course, is what my calculator would tell me. Yeah. But you know what? Mm. It's wrong. It is. Yeah. Mm. Why is that? Um, Talk me through this one here. Now, this one's an odd one, isn't it, Mr. Sam? Very. Because you know what the real answer is? Of course, it's 600. Huh? Yeah. That's kind of a weird one, isn't it? Well, you see, the, the 500 number, the 500 number is, is a very poor measurement. So okay. let's say I wanted to say the distance between here and um, 
Kansas City is 500 miles. Okay. How accurate do you think that number is? It's a neighborhood, right? Yeah, a neighborhood. Like but it's every just miles. neighborhood. Yeah. And but let's say that I um, knew the distance from my grandma's house in Kansas City to my aunt's house was exactly 78 miles because they they measured it, maybe on Google okay. Maps or something like that. So they knew it was 78 miles. All right. So how far is it from here to my aunt's house? Well, Ballpark we, 500 plus 78 miles. Yeah, but it wouldn't be 578 because 578 uh, indicates because the 500 we are only we only know that to the 100. So spot. you see, this is only accurate to the 100s place. This one, the 78, is accurate to the ones place. place. To the ones place. Yeah. So therefore, the answer is 600 miles between here and my aunt's house. To our least, least accurate, accurate measurement. measurement. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Let's do some uh, multiplication and division. Okay. What do you think about that? Let's go. All right. Let's say that I have a six point two three grams, and I divide it by um, uh, one point zero six five milliliters. This is a density problem. All right. Six point two three divided by one point zero six five. Enter. What do you get there, Mr. Sam? Five point. Eight four nine seven six five two five eight. Don't write that as your answer. D that, but that's what the calculator I says. I don't care. That's not what the calculator says. It is what the calculator says. Yeah, that's oh, right. You forgot. You have a naked number there, Mr. Burke. I know. I forgot to write grams per milliliter. Yeah, naked numbers are bad things. Yeah, naked numbers are numbers that do not have a unit of measurement written next to them. We don't like those. They're indecent. But it's and still the wrong answer. So let's right. figure this right. out. Now we're doing a division problem. Right. So when you divide, you go with the least number of um, significant, significant digits. figures. Right. So six point two three has uh, three significant digits. One point zero six five has four. That zero right there counts as a captive zero. Right. You're only as good as your least accurate measurement, which would be the three significant right. so digits. So our number needs three significant so figures. So the first Absolutely. significant digit would be well, five. the five, and then yeah. after that would be the eight, eight. and lastly there would be the four. four. Right. Now, be careful. Look, even though we want 5.8, wait, is it going to be a four or is it going to be a five? No, Notice that look at the next digit. The next digit is a nine. Nine. That means we're going to round up. So that would be 5.85 five five grams per milliliters. Okay. Do not write the calculator answer. No, never. All right, All right. Never. yes. All right, let's do another one. Have a little scientific notation. Ooh, Ooh. sounds fun.